move on to this Friday's disappearance. Uh, this disappearance is a local one. And it is the disappearance of Kaya Taylor. And you spell her first name C-I-E-H-A. Yes, that is pronounced Kaya. She disappeared February 6th, 2020. So this is uh, probably this is the newest disappearance we will have covered on Unfound. She disappeared from Plant City, Florida. Plant City is on the direct opposite side of Tampa from where I live. Takes me about an hour and a half to drive there. In fact, I did drive there. And the episode is called Cover Tracks. And the guest for this episode is Kaya's mother, Kenitha Taylor. This is an interview that was done on Sunday. Went a couple hours long. And because this is a local disappearance, on um, March 8th, that was a Monday, I drove over there and checked out the area, and I went to the very spot where Kaya's car was found. The general facts are these. On the day of her disappearance, Kaya had, had picked her boyfriend up at his work, and she and he were living at his friend's house, this guy uh, named Kevin. And they were living on a road called Cowart Road, although I think I mispronounced it in the video that I did. But um, allegedly, she dropped Jason off and left. She ended up talking to a friend of hers named Tiffany, and Tiffany said that Kaya was quite manic. She said, kept saying over, she was complaining about Jason, saying, uh, you are not, you're not going to believe this. You wouldn't believe this if I told you, but she wouldn't say, Kai would not say what she meant by that. And so they hung up the phone, uh, no idea where Kaya was going or anything. But later that evening at around seven o'clock, Kaya's car was found on the railroad tracks right down the street from where she was living with Jason in Plant City. And I've driven it. It's not even a mile. Not only that, not only was the car on the railroad tracks, but it was kind of partially blocking traffic. And I did a video, so you'll be able to see it for yourself. I was driving while filming with my phone. I went out there and did that. Um, the car, uh, a good Samaritan was the one who called it in to 911. I wouldn't say it's the busiest street. It is Plant City, not the busiest place on earth. But it's a well-traveled road, but nobody saw who, whoever parked the car there. But the car was running when it was found. The driver's door was open, and Kaya's phone was on the ground beside the car. Now, one of the strange parts of this is that uh, this Good Samaritan did call 911, and a police officer did show up. But this guy never checked the registration, never checked to see who owned the car. All he did was move the car off the tracks. That's all he did, which is very, very confusing. Didn't call it in, didn't, you know, nothing. And Kaya has been missing ever since. And uh, to add a little bit of another uh, mystery to this, Suddenly, 10 days after she went missing, her shoes appeared down the street next to a light pole that they surely were not there uh, before. The searchers absolutely claim that, that uh, the shoes were not there, and Kanitha, Kaya's mother, says, yes, those are her sho shoes, and she was probably wearing them on the day she disappeared. And then they were, they were put nicely, neatly, right by this light pole. So that is a disappearance, once again, from the Tampa area. I drove over there on March 8th. Did some video that uh, will be on this channel. Probably I'll post it tomorrow night. It will be a combination of you will see me filming as driving, you know, this, this road that goes up, and then you turn left, and that's where the road is with the train tracks. And I do it both ways, going east and west. And then I will also, in that video, do a what you – or, you know, more used to is a satellite view of the area using Google Maps. 
So there will be a, a supplemental uh, map supplemental for this uh, disappearance because I think it will greatly help you understand uh, what went on that day. Of course, the big question is this. Who left their car? Excuse me. Who left their car there? Did Kaya leave it there? Did something bad happen to her? Did Jason, her boyfriend, do something to her? Did somebody else do something to her and leave her car there? Of course, that'll be up for you to decide. So once again, this Friday, the disappearance of Kaya Taylor, that's C-I-E-H-A Taylor, February 6th, 2020, from Plant City, Florida. The guest is her mother, Kanitha, C-A-N-I-T-H-A, a couple unique names for this episode, and the episode is called Cover Tracks. So I think that's about it. Uh, Screaming says the Cocos Islands, and that is about it in the southern uh, Indian Ocean. Okay. Screaming. Uh, Beauty says the case is very interesting. It's it'll be up to all to you, of all to all of you as usual to determine what you think happened. So I think that's about it. Almost two hours. So what do we do? Um, once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Sarasota tournament this past weekend. Not not bad, but not great. Uh, canceled a couple upcoming tournaments uh, for practice reasons. New microphone cord, new phone and tablet that I showed you, new range finder that I'm going to use for disc golf. Showed you some pictures of my ma. Talked about the Nyleen Marshall Paul, Dr. Telesco. Don't forget, next Thursday, not next Monday, next Thursday, so a week from tomorrow. Unfound on the ground, March 25th, so a week and a half from now. Um, unfound now. Look for a new one tomorrow. Findjody.com. Patrick Reed uh, got together with Lisa Kassoon and her husband. Flight 370 took some questions from Jill and a couple of you in, in the audience tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, all for listening. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Tell all of your friends about this channel. And then finally, uh, I gave a preview of this Friday's uh, episode, The Disappearance of Kaya Taylor. That's all I got. Uh, it was a great show. Time goes so fast. And I even got to do it with some chicken wings in my tummy. It was good. And so you will hear me on Friday. Of course, you'll see me uh, at some point tomorrow when I release the next Unfound on the Ground. But then you will hear me on Friday.